So I've been quite fortunate to have spent um, a number of years in this role. I started off in this job in 2000 um, as, as a SI sergeant. Uh, I then progressed in 2008, stroke nine, as a sergeant major, and I'm now back as, as the OC. So I, I've seen quite a lot of uh, soldiers go through this test, whether it be parachute regiment soldiers or the wider air Force forces. Um, and I can actually say that the tests haven't changed in that period of time. The type of things that we look for then, so on, on some of the more difficult events that we, that we uh, run, such as the log, we look for determination, we look for the people who can dig in, go through the pain barrier and move forward. We're looking for leaders, people who are encouraging each other when it gets hard. Other things such as, as, as the tabs and 10 miles endurance, you know, it, it, it's all, always that little bit further, pushing people all the time. And what, what individuals don't realise while they've gone through tests is that this is the minimum standard for the Parachute Regiment and Airborne Forces. Everything gets longer, faster and harder from here. Uh, day 4 P Company, today's endurance march, 20 miles across undulating terrain. Uh, it represents that moving across the battlefield, um, feeling refreshed after the weekend. Fortunately it was gated in so I couldn't go to the spa and uh, yeah, ready to go. Right, the Joes are about to undertake the 20 mile loaded march uh, to just represent moving extended distance with weight on the back um, at reasonable speed, slower than the 10 miler clearly, um, but still uh, a reasonable effort. Um, this is to represent movement between air operations without the use of uh, vehicles and as airborne forces um, we usually deploy that reach without the availability of uh, transport and we'll be on the old uh, Mark 1 black taxis moving ourselves about. That's what this event's here to represent. The weather conditions deteriorated over the weekend and will make this next event especially challenging. The Endurance March is a squadded event conducted over 20 miles of demanding terrain. Each individual carries a Bergen weighing 35 pounds plus water and food and a weapon. The march must be completed in under four and a half hours to score maximum points. Uh, so, we're on the Endurance March, which is uh, one of our peak last tests. We've got, um, we've got to do 20 miles in four and a half hours. Uh, no, I think we're about six miles in. That's yeah, all good. Yeah. My legs are a bit sore, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything's going alright. We're just on the 20 mile Endurance March right now. Yeah. I'm not sure at what point we are, but I guess around seven miles in, something like that. Yeah, around 13 more to go. The 20 miler. It's a bit hard enough for it to be, the body's a bit sore now, but um, we've got to stretch a race tomorrow. I think I'm doing alright so far on P Company, but I need to pass the stretcher tomorrow in order to pass P Company, so a lot of pressure on it. Managed to stay on to hopefully as a pass. I needed to pass the day as I came off the 10 the other day, so I still, no, I still got an opportunity to pass the P Company now. Tomorrow we've got the stretcher race in the morning, the million in the afternoon, so as I pass along and, and, and came off the town, I need this, I need this stretch to race uh, stand a chance now and then get through a million. Muscles are sore and tight from just the, from the miles on the feet, but it went well. Pretty much everyone passed it. Uh, tomorrow we've got the stretcher race and then milling after that. Stretcher race simulates uh, getting the casualty to the HLS. And then after, after that it would be a milling to test aggression and see whether we're suitable and have the mindset of the poetry one. Right, 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 right. Thank you. 
push to the flank to stay out their way for us. Happy with kids bomb forward with a stretch of no issues whatsoever. Just try and stay out of our lads' way so that we can get to Uh, today's the last day of peak company. We start off with a stretch race, five mile stretch race, and then this afternoon we've got a million. Um, I personally think one of the most important events um, to simulate them extracting their casualty um, over about a five mile, mile route um, in, in teams. Um, that and the 10 mile I hold in uh, some of the highest esteem of all the events. Um, so hopefully they do well today. Uh, we've got about nine that need to need to pull it out of the bag today, uh, having come off the log. But I'm feeling, feeling positive. Uh, they're lucked out in that the, the snow is melted, so it's not going to be like that be on ice. Quite a few of them came off the log race, so what we're looking for now is to essentially pull that behind them. They can't affect the past, they need to focus on what they can affect, which is the future. And like I've said many times before, this event needs no motivation whatsoever. You need to, you need to get your oppo from one end of the battlefield to another in order to save his life. It's as simple as that. The stretcher race is conducted in teams of 16, carrying a 175 pound stretcher over a distance of 5 miles. No more than four individuals carry the stretcher at any given time. Students wear webbing and carry a weapon throughout. They must demonstrate grit, determination and leadership. So the recruits have just finished the uh, stretcher race, bit of a mixed performance. Now they've just got a final event, Millen, left to do. Hopefully they had enough, uh, enough points to, to pass. Um, a few shockers come off, but a few people uh, strong. Some of the 17 year olds smashing out of the park. It's quite clear cut, black and white, enough points. If they're good enough, they'll pass. If not, they won't. So final, final event now, uh, Millen, crucially it's about getting your head above, above the parapet and showing that controlled aggression. The final event of Test Week is 60 seconds of controlled physical aggression against an opponent of similar height and weight. The DS are not testing Joe's ability to fight, but their ability to control themselves under pressure, think and maintain composure while staying focused on the task at hand returning fire onto the target. A paratrooper needs to be able to deliver maximum violence on command, but equally be able to control themselves as the situation changes. Uh, do not think for one second that just because you are f***ing milling means that you're going to pass. Some of you need maximum points. Some of you need to really pull out the bag here, so ensure that you give it your all. Yes? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. yes.
with Liam Millen, so 60 seconds controlled aggression. Um, one more, went down as a draw. Uh, next is Berry Parade, so find out if I've done enough to pass. Nervous, yeah. really nervous, so biggest day of my life, I'd say. I had to do it twice because there was uneven numbers, so uh, get a bit more for a bit more bang for my book, but yeah, it was good. No, it's just getting ready, got to go back, get changed, get ready for the Barrow Parade. Hopefully get some good news on the Barrow, on, uh, on the Parade Square. Nervous, obviously, I creamed in on the team, I managed to start on everything else. And like, you've done away, you've been knocked points for admin, so it's just a, it's anyone's game at the moment. What I'm about, it was more tiring, I thought it was the longest 60 seconds of my life, to be honest enough. But, uh, no, it was good. The recruits have just conducted uh, Millen, yeah, which is uh, another final event on uh, P Company, and there were some good performances there. It's one of the, the best events for us as a training team to be able to look at Joel and see how they react under pressure in a very uncomfortable situation, a situation a lot of them have never found themselves in before. Um, I think it was quite a good Millen, and we saw a lot of good uh, performances there. Test week is over and Joe marches out onto the parade square to be told whether they have passed or failed. Those that have not made the standard turn to their right and march to the rear of the parade. Those that have failed their second attempt will move to another infantry unit and will not serve in the paras. Five. Sir. Pass. For 20. Sir. Pass. Sir. 21. Sir. Fail. Sir. 22, sir, pass, sir, 23, sir, pass, sir, 24, sir, fail, sir, 25, sir, fail, sir. Company. So I'm buzzing. Uh, obviously, I come for the log, so I weren't sure whether I was in the past, so I was happy to get the result. Um, moving forward now, we got exercise next week, Defence X, known as the Mole. Pretty bad because it's in Otterburn uh, and it's snowing up there, so it's going to be freezing. Um, then we got a bit of Christmas leave and then we're coming back. And we got a uh, final exercise, LFFT, and then we got two weeks of drill, uh, and then we'll have our pass out parade. So looking forward to that. Uh, found out past P company, so obviously absolutely buzzing after to find out the results. We've been bricking it all week. Now uh, next week we're going into Defence Sex and we'll be going further on and continue with training. Got about eight weeks left to get that cracked and hopefully uh, get to battalion.